the learning C. Mickey and Friends, Mickey's Spooky Night. Mickey Mouse looked around his living room. It was decorated with ghosts, spiders, and bats. A jack-o'-lantern smiled at him from the mantelpiece. I am going to have a great Halloween party tonight, Mickey said as he tacked one last fake cobweb to the wall. Suddenly, Mickey glanced at the clock. It's almost time for the party, and I haven't gotten dressed yet, he cried. Now where did I put that old pirate costume? Mickey went upstairs. Then he went up, up, up a ladder into the dark attic. As he switched on the light, thunder crashed and lightning flashed across the sky. Mickey looked around and noticed something tall in the corner. A large ghostly shadow fell over him. Uh, h h hello, he said. Lightning flashed again, and Mickey saw the thing he'd been scared of. It was a coat rack with a sheet over it. Mickey went over to an old trunk. I'll bet my pirate costume's in here, he said. He brushed off the dust, but there was so much that it tickled his nose, and he sneezed. Mickey turned the key in the rusty old lock and opened the trunk. A skeleton popped out. Mickey jumped back. Then he realized it was just a plastic party decoration. Phew! Guess the joke is on me. This skeleton will be perfect for my party. Mickey rummaged around. I'd better take the whole trunk downstairs, he said. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Meanwhile, in Mickey's backyard, Pluto was chasing a ball this way and that. As he charged under the clothesline, one of the sheets came loose from the line and fell on him. It covered him from head to tail. Meanwhile, Donald, Goofy, Minnie, and Daisy arrived at Mickey's house. Garsh, Goofy said, look at the lightning. Daisy giggled nervously. It sure is a spooky night, she said. As the thunder boomed and the lightning flashed, Minnie and her friends raced into Mickey's house. Mickey, we're here, Minnie called. But there was no answer. Mickey was too far upstairs to hear anything over the sounds of the storm. Just then, the lights went out. Mickey's friends heard weird thumping sounds above them. Minnie gasped. What was that? she asked. It sounds like a, a coffin being dragged across Mickey's room, said Daisy. Now Donald was getting nervous. Between the storm, the dark, and the noises, it felt a little like they were in a haunted house. Out in the backyard, Poor Pluto was still stuck under the sheet. He couldn't see to find his doggy door. Hearing his whimpers, Daisy looked around. What's that sound? she asked. Just then, something weird and white ran past the window. Goofy gasped. It's a g, -g ghost he said. Mickey's friends were too scared even to scream. Back inside, Mickey's friends heard shuffling feet. They looked up to see a horrible monster coming down the stairs. Suddenly, the lights came back. It wasn't a monster on the stairs after all. It was Mickey, all dressed up for his party. Gosh, hiya gang, Mickey said. I didn't realize you were here yet. Minnie smiled. Oh, Mickey, it's just you. You really scared us. We thought you were a ghost, said Goofy. Yes, that's one very scary costume, Daisy said, pointing to the hook on Mickey's hand. Daisy picked up a cupcake and smiled. 
Mickey, this is the scariest, most exciting Halloween party ever. How did you do it? Goofy nodded. Yeah, Mickey, it's the best haunted house I've ever been in, he said. A uh, haunted house? A puzzled Mickey looked around. Just then, Pluto found his way through the doggy door and into the living room. Mickey and his friends looked up and saw a ghost. Then Mickey realized it wasn't a ghost. Oh, Pluto, it's just you, he said. Mickey smiled at his friends. With all of those ghosts and noises, this really is the scariest Halloween party ever.